Maayong hapon and welcome to the Animation and Visual Graphic Design webinar series of Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center. Today, we are already in Visual Graphic Design webinar 3 entitled Layer Style in Adobe Photoshop. And we are streaming live over YouTube and Facebook. Layers play an important role in designing. It is also essential to a graphic designer to master layer styles in order to improve their works. And this afternoon, we are going to learn more of that. But before anything else, please watch the Tech for Ed video presentation to be followed by the prayer, the singing of Pamansang Awit, and the Negros hymn. Technology. It's reshaping our lives. It dramatically changed the way we live, the way we learn, the way we work, and the way we communicate. Technology has tremendous potential to connect us with one another. But there are still people who remain unreached, disconnected, and deprived of digital opportunities. Tech for Ed Centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. We have more than 4,000 registered users and about 67% are women and majority composed of students as our beneficiaries. And why women? Because we are gender responsive, so all our programs are aligned with the gender and development program of our province na tutunan ko yung ibang skills na dapat sa ibang schools na dapat per years dapat i ano ma ano man lang dito na mabilisan ng mga months, mga three months, mapan mo lang agad tapos para work agad. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs um on how does the environment work and how am i going to interact with um, my future customers before as of now as i would the call center agent so i see that difference because as of now i'm learning uh, i'm earning more than i am i have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver Labing makagagahong nga amay namun sa langit. May nuklugon nga laon nga tagtuga sa langit, hangin, kalayo, tubig, kagduta. Tanda ining imong timawa. Gabay ining pag-ampo, magadulot sa amon sa kabuhi nga himaya. Salamat sa mga bugay na imugin paambit sa amon. Salamat sa kabuhi na ginadulot mo sa amon na himpit. Salamat sa maayong na panahon kag ilabinagid sa imo katutom sa amon. Bindisyone ang imo katawahan. Bindisyone ang ila mga palangabuhian. Bindisyone ang mga panggas sa amon mga talamnan. Bindisyone ang ilang nga paglugayawan sa ibang nga kapungsuran. Gabay, makalabot sila na walay sablag sa ila pagapadulungan. Kag ila binagid, bindisyone ining isla sa negros na amon na tawahan. Inahalad namon ang ining pag-ampo para sa imo kadayawan. Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. 
kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. Kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtukla sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kabahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule just to join us today. My name is Meg and I am your host. This webinar is an innovation project of Knowledge Tech for Ed Center to address the digital divide and it is being offered for free. Knowledge also offers free online training under the Negras Occidental Training for Work Scholarship Program through the Office of the Governor, Governor Eugenio Jose V. Laxon under his 7.5 priority agenda, that is the Avance Negrense. To join, all you need to do is to register once and you will be given access to the entire webinars. You need to sign up for your attendance at the start of this webinar and it will be open only for an hour or two. So do your attendance right now and scan the code that is being flashed on your screen and click the link on the description box. To participate in the open forum form, you will need to post your questions through an online open forum form. 
Please find the link in the description box also, or you may scan the QR code flashed on your screen right now. All right, we will also provide digital certificates only to those who successfully filled out both the attendance and the online evaluation, which will be open after the webinar and will be closed at exactly six in the evening. If you are watching through Facebook live stream, please follow our page, give our page a thumbs up. And if you're streaming through YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button now. Thank you so much. Knowledge C is vocational school administrator and Knowledge C Tech for Ed Center manager embodies a perfect definition of a leader. She leads by heart and encourages her team to be a better version of themselves, not to settle for anything less, but to strive to go beyond the limits. Let us all welcome Dr. Maria Cristina B. Orbesido. Thank you, Meg. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for consistently joining our webinar series. I would like to warmly welcome all our participants from different cities and municipalities in our province, and also all our attendees from other regions, including those outside the Philippines. We don't want to compromise your health, our health, and our community at large. Technology is an important enabler for us to be safe and to avoid the contagion and any disruptions in our daily activities. We campaign that you should protect, adopt, and enable. It's been a year that we are battling this pandemic. We look at multiple factors contributing to the economic downturn. The common theme was safety whether it's developing solutions that make it safe for business to open, minimizing the risk to people, or investing in solutions that will help deliver a more resilient economy. Protect. Province-wide quarantines and stay-at-home orders are the last resort. This is designed to stop the spread of the contagious disease. But even with these protective measures in place, businesses need to be able to open safely to serve essential needs. We need to develop solutions to ensure social distancing controls. Adapt. We need to help ourselves adapt to the new normal for us to facilitate essential activities, a key to economic recovery. While movement and travels were greatly limited, this cannot be eliminated completely. Thus, when we go out of our homes, we need to observe proper protocols for us to be safe at all times. Enable. Investing in solutions are a way of delivering online trainings and webinars, a degree of resilience against the spread of the disease or the pandemic. Again, these educational solutions were brought to you by Nolsi and the Office of Governor Bong Lakson, a pioneering God project. We hope that you will learn a lot from this module. Again, welcome to this webinar. Let's stay safe, take care of ourselves and our loved ones. Knowledge inspire, knowledge cares, abanse, negrense. Thank you so much, Dr. Orbisido, for that warm welcoming message. Knowledge is standing strong amidst the pandemic and continues to deliver relevant and COVID-free training programs because of the strong support of our provincial government. And to give us a message on behalf of the governor, let us have the provincial GAD focal point system in charge, Ms. Marijun P. Castro. Pleasant greetings, everyone. On behalf of the Provincial Gender and Development Focal Point System, headed by our Governor Eugenio Jose Bong Laksan, I would like to extend our congratulations to all the participants of this webinar organized by the Negros Occidental Language, Information, and Technology Center, headed by our innovative school administrator, Dr. Maria Cristina Orbisido, and supported by her dedicated staff. With the increasing cases of COVID-19 in the province and other parts of the country and the world, you, 
learning at the comforts of your home or wherever you are where you have stable internet connection is by far the safest way of acquiring knowledge and skills which you can use for future employment or your eventual business in the future. As the Action Officer of the Provincial GAD Focal Point System, I am happy to note that our GAD budget is put to good use and is helping women, youth, and the marginalized sector in maximizing their potentials and in contributing to the economic development of their family. Also, Nulitsi is helping to change gender relations and improve the status of women in our society. Congratulations to Nolitsi and to all the participants for signing up in this course. I hope that you will complete the module, submit the requirements and evaluation so that you will be able to receive your certificates. Malipayon nga adlaw sa inyo tanan and abanse negrense. Thank you so much, Ma'am June. Before we proceed, let me acknowledge first our active partners for this webinar. We have Ma'am Jennifer Vanessa from Kamsi Binalbagan, Dr. Norberto Mondero, and Ms. Melay Forcas from Kamsi Talisay. Of course, we also have Sir Anthony Malabanan of Bagu City College, the campus of Carlos Celado Memorial State College, um, Binalbagan and Talisay, also from Bagu City College, Department of Education, and we also have LGU Talisay. And all the way from Bukidnon Province, hello there. And also we have participants from Batangas and La Union. And also we have here the North Negros College and we also have the, um, all the way from Albay, our participants from Albay. Hello everyone and we are glad that you have um, attended our webinar this afternoon. So at this point in time, to the most awaited part, join me in welcoming our speaker this afternoon. He is Knowledge CS VGD trainer and has been teaching visual graphic design for many years now. Many of his students are inspired by him, not just because he is best in teaching graphic design, but also of his great effort and love for his work. His passion for graphic designing has driven many of his students to become a better artist. To our dear viewers, brace yourselves in learning something new as we listen to our resource speaker this afternoon. He is none other than Mr. Ian Christian C. Antonio. Thank you, Megs, for, uh, for the introduction. You are welcome, Sir Ian. How are you, sir? Actually, I'm really excited to share my knowledge and also my skills mm -hmm. to, to our participants. All right. I think our viewers is ready also for um, listening from you, sir. Um, the virtual floor is now yours. Please take it away. Okay. Thank you, Mix. Hi. Right, so, good afternoon, uh, uh, everyone. So, uh, welcome uh, to the third uh, webinar of uh, Visual Graphic Design. So, uh, last time... So we already uh, we already tackled uh, or discussed the introduction uh, to basic Adobe Photoshop CC and also the adjustment layers. Then this time, so we've been uh, we we've, uh, we've been uh, try to to use naman yung layer style. Okay. So actually, yung uh, yung layer style is uh, essential talaga ito kapag nag-design tayo. So kung isa kang graphic designer, so uh, hindi uh, hindi pwedeng uh, binabal uh, binibal uh, binabaliwala yung ano yung layer style. Okay, so again, so this webinar is uh, intended to the ano to the beginners. It means yung ituturo ko is uh, yung don sa ano parang basic talaga okay then if you have uh, ano naman ng like may mga method kayo or something processed sa pagdi-design using this layer style so okay naman so sa ano naman kasi sa paggamit ng uh, graphic applications so yung important is kung saan kayo ano comfortable okay 
So, I will share my screen. Okay, so... Oops. Okay. okay, so... Again, one second, share screen. Okay. Okay, so I will share my screen. Okay, then we have to swap. Okay. Okay, so again, so we have layer style in Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so... Okay, so our objectives, so for this webinar, so first is we have to learn what is layer style. So, minsan alam natin yung ano, yung term, pero yung reality is sometimes hindi natin alam kung paano gamitin yung ano, yung layer style. Okay, so dito, so explain natin muna nung ano, yung kung ano talaga yung ano, yung layer style. Then at the same time, so... Uh, we will learn how to apply the layer style. So, ituturo ko sa inyo yung ano, yung process, yung method kung paano gamitin yung ano, yung yung layer style. Okay. So, what is layer style? Okay, so so it's simply one or more layer effects and blending options applied to a layer. Okay? So it means so kung napanood niyo last time yung webinar ko doon sa ano, sa adjustment layers. Actually, yung layer style so same din sa ano sa isa sa mga ano sa mga effects ng Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so like for example, like yung text niyo na plain, so gusto niyo medyo something appealing. So you can use layer style like you can add shadow, you can add glow or something you can add uh, something embossed na parang mukhang maging ano, maging 3D. Okay? So yan yung ano yung layer style. Okay? So again, so isa sa sa mga effects ng Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so you can change the appearance of add fancy effects in non-destructive way. Okay, so same din sa ano sa adjustment layer last time. So kapag nagle-layout tayo, so kapag gumagamit tayo ng ano ng layer style, so wag matakot na ano na baka masira yung ano yung uh, original file natin or something uh, baka mawala yung original file file na uh, file natin. Okay? So layer style is Again, so non-destructive way ito siya. Okay, so while we are applying the layer style, yung ano natin, yung original na design, so ganun pa rin. So hindi masira yan kapag uh, bumalik tayo doon sa ano, sa original file ng ano, ng design natin. Okay? Okay, so what are those uh, layer style? So again, so we have... First, we have drop shadow. Okay? So, mamaya papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung itsura ng drop shadow. So, like for example, yung text, gusto nyo yung lagyan ng drop shadow para maging stand out. So, you can use drop shadow. Okay? Oops, sorry. Then, we have also inner shadow. Yung pinagkaiba lang ng, ano, ng inner shadow compared doon sa, ano, sa drop shadow. Kasi yung inner shadow is nagbibigay ng shadow doon sa, ano, sa inside sa object, shape, o di kaya sa text. Okay? Then we have outer glow. Kung gusto nyo lagyang something glow effects yung text or shape. Okay. Then we have also inner glow. So it means inside naman doon sa ano, sa shape natin. Kung di kaya sa typography natin na ano, nagagamitin. Okay. So we have satin. Okay. So mamaya papakita ko yung ano, yung satin. Kung ano yung ano, yung effects ng satin. Okay. Then we have also color overlay. Then we have also gradient overlay. Okay. Then we have also pattern overlay. Then we have also stroke. Then we have also bevel and embossed. Okay. So we have uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. So we have 10 okay, na layer style. Okay. So kung titignan natin, so medyo madami siya. So mamaya uh, i-assign uh, ko sa inyo yung mga effects na ito. Okay. Then for ano, para medyo mamotivate kayo sa paggamit ng layer style. Okay. So... Ito yung mga examples ng ano ng layer style. Okay? So like for example this one. So from plain, okay? Tingnan natin parang dahil yung ano yung text. With the use of layer style, so makagawa tayo ng ganitong effects. Okay? Like we can apply uh, uh, in a shadow, okay? Then we can apply bevel and embossed para magiging 3D, okay? Then we can apply drop shadow para mag-stand out. Then we can apply 
uh, inner glow or something outer glow. Okay. Then we have also this kind of okay of design with the use of layer style. Okay. So dito we can apply texture, we can apply pattern. Okay. So para magiging ganito ito. So yung yung layer style actually we can combine them all. Okay. So para meron tayong ano magandang effects yung kalabasan. Okay. Then we can also create that one. Okay. So like for example this one for gold. Okay. So same din. So combine lang natin yung ano yung mga yung mga layer style. So, mamaya papakita ako sa inyo. So, magbibigay ako mamaya ng, ano, ng examples sa paggamit ng layer style. Okay? Then, ito, so, ito medyo, ano, talaga. Ito medyo, uh, maganda talaga. Pero, so, I guess, we have to be patient din when it comes sa paggamit ng layer style. Okay? So, we can add texture, pattern. Okay? So, we have uh, inner glow inside. Then, we have drop shadow. Okay? Then, we have gradient. So gamitin natin yung ano, yung mga proper na ano, na layer style. So with the use the proper layer style, so uh, I'm sure kaya niyo din sa mga makagawa ng ganitong effects, okay? Oops, sorry. Then okay, so we can also apply this uh, for our collateral materials like we can uh, when making a uh, poster, so we can use layer style, okay? Like top shadow, okay? Then we have again texture pattern, okay? So like gawa tayo ng ano ng poster yung gusto niyo maging uh, appealing yung poster niyo so you can use ano yung layer style so medyo essential siya talaga sa paggamit ng ano kapag gumagamit kayo ng ano ng Adobe Photoshop okay so i guess medyo na expire na kayo so and i know is medyo excited na kayo so punta na tayo doon sa ano sa Adobe Photoshop na applications okay so i will share my Photoshop Okay, so I fail. So, okay, thank you. I so Okay, so this is uh, Adobe Photoshop CC. So yung version na ginagamit ko is ng CC 2019. So medyo ano siya, medyo bago siya. Pero I guess meron na ano, pinaka latest yung 2021. Okay. So I already discussed na nung last webinar yung ano, yung interface. So again, so we have two buttons here. So we have open and create new. Okay. So when we say open, so it means you have existing na na ano, na design na gusto niyo something i-modify na lang or something i-update na lang. Okay. But kung gusto niyo talagang gumawa ng anong panibagong document, so uh, just select lang yung create new. Okay. So click create new. Okay. So lalabas yung ano, yung options dito. Yung properties niya. Okay. So we have different sizes. So we have uh, size for photo, we have size for print, like uh, letter, legal, tabloid, A4. Then we have size for web, then we have size for mobile. Okay. But again, kung hindi natin mahanap yung, ano, yung intended size natin, so uh, in the right side, dito sa, ano, sa properties. So we have okay, manual naman na, ano, na width size, then we have also uh, size para doon sa height. Okay? So like for examples, okay? So, change ko muna yung units for the chest. Okay. So, kagawa ko ng design. So, na yung width is uh, 12 in chest. Okay. Then, yung height is we got. Okay. Gawin ko lang 18 in chest. Okay. Then, automatically, yung orientation is nagiging landscape yan. So, we have two type of orientation naman. So, we have portrait. It means patayo yung design natin. Then, yung landscape, it means payga yung design natin. Okay. So, again, so, wag lang kalimutan yung units especially yung ano so yung kung ano yung intended na size na gagawin natin si minsan is uh, gagawa tayo ng ano ng malaking uh, na i mean uh, gagawa tayo ng design para doon sa ano sa web pero yung ginamit natin na ano na units is in chest so minsan ganyan so akala natin is medyo ano na, nasisira yung application Ah, uh, kundi ka pala is doon pala doon sa ano, sa units. Nagkamali tayo sa pag pagpili ng units, okay? Then we have also title, okay? So we'll change that one for layer style.
So, huwag kalimutan yung title of document. So, yung importante yan. Okay? So, especially uh, kapag, nag, uh, kapag naghanap tayo ng, ano, ng file natin. Okay? Then, yung resolution. So, okay? So, gagamitin ko yung standard na 300. So kung gusto medyo ano, medyo maganda yung quality, so pwede naman uh, pwede naman adjust na ano, medyo I mean medyo uh, patasan niyo lang yung ano, yung resolution. So gawin yung 500 or something 800. So as long lang makaya ng ano, ng applications niyo at saka yung computer niyo, okay? Then you have color mode. So yung color mode ko is the uh, okay, I will select lang RGB. So it means yung design ko is intended on para sa ano sa para sa screen okay like for example so after kong gumawa ng design gusto kong i-post doon sa FB tigaya gagamitin ko sa website so must ano yung ano yung IGB color mode na ano nagamitin okay then if you're okay na doon sa ano sa properties okay so just click lang yung ano yung create na button so makikita niyo yan sa ano sa ilalim okay naka-kulay blue yan okay so i will click the create. Okay? So Nandito na ako sa ano, sa sa okay, sa uh, essential na workplace ng Adobe Photoshop. Okay? So Okay, so Okay, so punta tayo doon sa ano, sa layer style. Okay? So like for example, okay, gagawa muna ako ng objects. So, yung objects is makikita lang dito sa ano, sa toolbox dito sa left, okay? So, I will select shapes. Okay? So, ito siya. Okay? Just simply hold the click lang or just uh, I mean just uh, uh, click the shape and hold the click then drag lang doon sa canvas para makagawa ng ano, ng shape. Okay? Then, again, for the shape, we can change the color. Like, for example, sa layer, just double-click lang dito sa layer. Okay. So, we can change the color. Dito. Okay. Then, kung gusto nyo something i-resize dyan, just use lang yung move tool. Okay. Then, control T. Okay. So, you pindutin lang yun yung, uh, yung, ano, yung control at saka yung T doon sa, ano, sa keyboard. Okay. Then, you can manually resize naman yung, ano, yung shape. Okay. Then, sa layer style, okay, so we have different uh, method to apply the layer style, okay? So, yung ginagawa ko is, yung una, you can go to the layer from menu bar, okay? Just click lang layer. Then, just find lang yung, ano, yung layer style, okay? Then, okay, nandito yung, ano, yung different layer style. So, makikita nyo na yung, ano, yung different layer style. So, we have drop shadow, We have uh, outer glow, pattern overlay, we have gradient overlay, color overlay, satin, inner glow, inner shadow, stroke, and pipilan yung post. Okay? So, like for example, gagamit ako ng drop shadow. So, click ko lang yung drop shadow. Okay? So, gagawa, uh, lalabas yung ano niya, yung property ng, ano, ng drop shadow. Okay? Yung ibang way, so cancel ko muna. Okay? So, you can either right click to the layer. Okay? From the layer. Okay? Then, select lang yung, ano, yung blending options. Okay. Then, so, lalabas yung, ano, yung property din ng, ano, ng layer style. Okay. So, nandito siya. Okay. Then, you can also use layer style from this one. So, click lang yung, ano, yung FX dito sa ilalim ng layers. Okay. Click lang. Then, makikita natin yung, ano, yung different layer style also. Okay. Pero yung pinakamadali na ginagamit ko. So, dito sa ano, sa shape na layer. Okay. So, hindi sa pangalan ha. Okay. Dito sa may ano, something blank lang. Just double click lang. Okay. Then, automatically, lalabas yung layer style. Okay. So, ito yung pinakamadaling method to apply the layer style. Okay. Then, okay. Next. So, try natin. So, unahin natin si ano, si drop shadow. Okay. So, gagawin ko is click put check lang kay drop shadow then after putting check so wag kalimutan na select yung drop shadow okay kasi minsan kapag hindi natin na ano na select yung ano yung layer style ni drop shadow iba yung property na lumalabas dito okay 
So like for example, so baka nandiyan tayo kay blending options. Na check ta, pero yung property hindi para kay drop shadow. Para pala doon kay blending options. So check to apply, then select for the property. Okay? So lalabas yung property ni drop shadow. Okay? Then for the property of drop shadow, so we can change the color of the shadow. Just double click nandito. So makikita naman natin. So we have something black dito na standard. So click lang yung kulay, then lalabas yung picker. Okay? Oops. Okay? Then we can choose colors. Okay? Like for example that one. So kung titingnan natin, so yung outside ng ano ko ng object, so parang gumawa siya ng ng green na, green na, na shadow. Okay? So you can Okay, you can select any kind of color. Just drag lang yung ano, yung hue natin. Okay, so we have blue, we have green, we have yellow. Okay, so if you want black, so just drag lang dito. Okay, okay lang. Okay, then kung okay ka na sa kulay dyan, just press okay lang. Okay, then we have opacity. Okay, so it means nagbabari ito sa transparency ng ano natin, ng kulay natin. Kung gusto nyo parang medyo light lang yung shadow natin, so pwede naman natin babaan yung tra transparency, yung opacity. Okay? So kapag zero, totally hindi natin makikita na yung trap shadow. Okay? But if you got 100%, so kung titingnan natin, so yan yung trap shadow natin. Okay? Then we have also angle. Okay? So we can change the directions of our trap shadows. Okay? So like For example, we got 90 degrees or we got 180 degrees. Okay? Pero yung pinakamadali yung ginagawa ko is hold left click na lang ako dito. Then I can change also the angle of my drop shadow. Then kung titingnan natin doon sa ano sa properties natin, automatically nagche-change din yung angle natin. Okay? So like for example, that one. Okay. Then yung distance, okay? So either up o uh, papuntang uh, itaas ba, papuntang ibababa ba, or, okay, so, or gusto nyo uh, sa gilid ba, o di kaya sa, okay, into the left side, okay. Yan yung distance, okay. But for now, so I guess, okay, adjust ko lang dito. Dito na lang ako. Ito yung pinakamadali, okay. So, angle, then plus distance. Okay. So, take like example that one. Then, we have spread, okay. So, kung zero yung spread natin, so, yung gagawin niya, ano, ni Photoshop, doon sa drop shadow. So, bibigyan niya ka ng, ano, parang smooth na, ano, na drop shadow. Kung titingnan natin, so, sa gilid ng drop shadow natin, parang meron siyang feather. Okay? Parang balahipo ng manok. But if we got 100%, okay, so, nagiging sharp yung drop shadow natin. Okay? So, it means, nagbabari yung smoothness natin dito sa spread. Okay? Then, yung size, So okay, depende yung ano, yung yung ah uh, yung gusto niyo yung size. But take note, nagba yung size natin uh, dito kay spread, okay? For example, kung naka-0 'yan, then 0 yung ano din, yung size. So parang ito yung ano, yung output niya. Okay? But kung gusto niyo yung lagyan ng ano ng medyo uh, ma, uh, medyo mataas na ano na spread or something better yung effects ng drop shadow so adjust lang yung size okay so titingnan natin nagiging better na yung gilid ng drop shadow natin okay so kung naka 100% yan okay so yung spread natin it means sharp yung edge natin then kapag lagyan ko ng size okay so pinapalaki yan yung drop shadow lang natin. Okay? So, gawin ko siya. Yung intended ko is parang ganyan. Okay? Lagyan ko siya. Para mag-stand out yung object ko. Okay? Then, yung opacity, we can adjust naman. Okay? Para medyo realistic yung drop shadow natin. Okay? Okay. So, we got that one. Okay? So, yan yung drop shadow. Then, we have uh, type, uh, different type of forms. Okay? So, gawin ko muna 100% para makita natin. Okay? Then, try natin to Yung mga different type of forms. Okay? Like, for example, gusto nyo yung ganitong effects. Okay? Or ganitong forms. One add yan for the drop shadow. That one. Okay? Parang frame siya. Okay? Parang that one. Okay? That one. So, nandito lang kay contour. So, makita nyo yung contour. 
Okay, so balik ko lang dito no? standard in or something to default na ano na <clears throat> na na affects ni kay trap shadow. Okay? Yung anti alias kapag yung quality gusto niyo medyo maganda. So and dito check lang. Okay? Then yung noise, okay? So yung noise is ito yung noise parang uh, parang kagaya doon sa ano, sa television na ano na walang nakulang sa ano sa signal okay so gumagawa siya na parang small dots ito yung noise okay gusto niyo lagyan ng noise di ba pwede din yan okay then gusto niyo reset yung ano niyo yung property so medyo nagkamali kayo sa pag pag ano pag pag pili ng property just click lang yung reset to default okay so babalik lang yan ni ano ni ni Adobe Photoshop, ni Adobe Photoshop CC doon sa standard na ano na default okay but kung gusto niyo maging uh, ito na yung ano yung yung default na ano yung nagagamitin niyo okay so you can use naman make default okay so just click lang yung make default then every time nag-open tayo or nag-apply tayo ng drop shadow so yung kung ano yung previous settings niyo para kay drop shadow so yan yung unang makikita niyo Okay. It means yan yung uh, default na properties na. Okay. Then we have also blend mode. Okay. So yung blend mode. Okay. So actually I got a uh, next web uh, webinar naman para dito. So ito magandang effects din ito. Okay. So uh, explain ko lang lang ito by ano by next webinar. Baka kukulangin tayo ng ano ng time. Okay. Okay. So yan yung drop shadow. Okay. So, kung okay na tayo sa ano sa sa properties ni Drop Shadow, then just click lang yung okay, okay? Then pag click ng okay dito sa layers, okay? So makikita natin yung ano, yung effects ni Drop Shadow, okay? So we can hide the Drop Shadow. Just click lang yung parang uh, mata yung ano, yung icon, okay? Just click lang, okay? So kung na-disable yung ano, yung icon na parang mata, that means automatically hide yan yung ano yung drop shadow. Okay? Then, we can also delete the effects of drop shadow. Yung gagawin lang is uh, hold the click lang. Then, okay, just point lang dito sa trash can. Okay? Then, automatically, so, delete lang yung ano. I-delete ni Photoshop yung nagawa nating layer style. Okay? So, uh, ganun lang ka, ano, kasimple. Okay? So, again, so, double click ako dito. So, apply ko lang ano yung drop shadow. Yung maganda kasi kay ano sa bagong version ngayon. So we I can apply multiple drop shadows compared doon sa ano sa previous na ano na versions. So dito I can click plus. Okay? So kung titingnan natin dito sa property ni layer style, so gumawa siya ng panibagong okay, oops, drop shadow. Okay? So yung gagawin ko dito sa kalawang drop shadow, so I can change the color of another drop shadow. Okay? So, like for example, gusto ko siyang gawin green. Okay? Then, siya dito. Okay? Then, yung unang drop shadow, yung black. Okay? So, dito. Oops, sorry. Nakacheck yung global light. So, it means yung global light kapag nakacheck ito. So, kung ano yung, ano, yung in-apply natin uh, doon sa, ano, sa unang layer. So, same din doon sa, ano, parang overall in-apply yan yung, ano, yung effects. Okay? So, Uncheck ko muna. Gusto ko is naka-specific ako. Okay. So, punta ako dito sa black na drop shadow. Okay. So, gusto ko dito siya itaas. Okay? Then, yung ikalawang drop shadow. Uh, yung green na drop shadow. So, gusto ko is nandito sa ilalim. So, pwede yan. Okay. So, we can use multiple drop shadows. Uh, just, no lang. Just, uh, see lang kung meron siyang plus icon. Kung makikita niyo yung meron siyang plus icon, so, it means you can use multiple drop shadows. Okay? Sige. So, next is, sige, gagawa tayo ng ano, magandang samples. Okay? So, select ko muna yung ano, yung properties. Okay? Okay, for example. Okay. So, cancel ko muna. So, delete ko. Okay. Gagamit ako ng type tool. Ito yung type tool. So, same din makikita natin dito sa toolbars. Okay? So, okay, for example, I got N. Okay. So, adjust ko lang yung size. Okay. So, nandito yung size. Makita natin sa kaya, no? Control panel. 
Okay? So, like for example, uh, gawin ko siyang 200. Okay? Then, just click check lang kung okay na kayo. Okay? So, palitan ko lang yung kulay ng text ko. So, nandito lang sa floating palette natin. So, we have type layer properties naman. So, just double click lang. Okay? Ito lang. Oops. Something green. Okay? Just double click. Okay na siya. Something green siya. Okay? Then, next is apply natin yung dark shadow. So, okay? Double click ako dito. Okay? Okay? So, delete ko muna yung kalawang dark shadow. Okay? By clicking delete. Okay? So, check to apply. Then, select for the properties. Okay? So, oops, sorry. Makamove na lang. Okay? Okay. So, ganyan siya. Okay. So, spread ko siya. Then, yung opacity adjust ko lang. Okay. Then, yung distance. Okay na ako dyan. Okay. Then, next, gagawa ko ng another drop shadow. Okay. So, gusto ko this time. Oh. Uncheck ko lang yung global lights para specific lang dito. Sa ikalawang drop shadow. Okay. Then, adjust ko yung property. Okay. Then, adjust ko yung size. So, lagyan ko ng mataas na spread. Okay. So, oops. Okay. Yung opacity, we can adjust naman. Okay. Then, yung una, adjust ko lang. Lagyan ko mataas na yun. Then, yung okay, yung size. Like what? Okay. So, we can change the color. Okay. Like, for example, may drop ako dito. Then, medyo, babaan ko lang yung ano. Yung Okay. Yung brightness ng drop shadow. Okay. Then, yung blend mode into normal. Okay. Then, okay. So, medyo okay na siya. Then, press ko okay. Then, yung maganda dito sa bagong version din. So, kung gusto natin medyo lagyan ng style, yung yung layer style natin. So, like for example, gusto ko distort yung ano, yung drop shadow ko. So, just right click lang dito. Sa kaya FX. Okay. Then, okay. We can create layers. Okay. So, from FX, gagawin ko siyang layers. Okay. Then, press ko lang okay. Okay. That one. Then, yung gagawin ko is, nandito na siya. Naging layer na siya. Okay. So, gagawin ko, so, click ko yung ginawang niyang ano, yung uh, naging layer na na ano na drop shadow. So just control T lang, then right click, then we can apply work. Okay? So within yung bigyan style, okay? Like that one. Okay? So we can warp the drop shadow, okay? So just right click lang dito sa FX, then create layers lang. So pwede yan. So yung FX, so magiging layers na. So we can use other tools naman, okay? Then, next, try naman natin yung ano, yung inner shadow. Okay. So, lagyan ko muna ng background. Okay. Gagamit ako ng shape. One. Okay. Okay. So, from layers. So, lagay ko lang siya doon sa baba. Then, change ko lang yung kulay ng shape. Okay. So, para magiging stand out siya. Okay. That one. Then, next is, gamit ako ng text. Okay. Then, try ko yun ito. Okay. Okay. Change ko yung, ano, yung prop, yung, add ko yung layer style. Okay. Just double click lang dito sa gilid ng, uh, ng layer natin para lumabas yung, ano, yung layer style. Okay. And then, okay. Okay na tayo kay drop shadow. So, now, try naman natin si inner shadow. Okay. So, we have inner shadow. Check to apply. Okay. Then, select for properties. Okay. So, take note, ah. So, kapag nag-apply tayo ng, ano, ng layer style, so, dapat select mo muna yung, ano, yung layer nyo. Okay. Okay. So, like, for example, change ko yung kulay ng inner shadow. Okay. Change ko yung black. Okay. 
So yung property actually parang same din doon sa ano sa drop shadow. We have opacity, we have angle, we have global light, we have distance, we have chalk or doon kay drop shadow is tawag natin as spread. Actually same yung effects lang. Then we have also size, then we have also uh, contour, then we have also noise. Okay. Yung pinagkaiba lang. So kapag nagbibigay ako ng ano kapag nag-adjust ako dito sa properties niya. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, okay, yung shadow is inside sa ating okay, letters, okay, or sa ating shape. Okay. So, kanina, si drop shadow is nandun sa labas. So, si inner shadow is nasa loob naman. Okay. So, we can change the property. Okay. One. Okay. Make that bad. Okay. Then, pack lang ito normal. Okay. So, gusto ko siya ganyan. That one. That one. Okay. So, same kind of shadow. Pwede ako dito mag-hold click dito. Gusto ko move yung angle then at the same time yung distance. Okay. That one. Then, try ko palitan yung kulay. Ito that one. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin. Okay. Pabaan ko lang yung opacity. Okay. Size. Ito lang yung size. Okay. 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 So, makagawa tayo ng ganitong effects using their style or inner shadow. Okay? Kung okay na kayo, then press lang okay. Okay? So, yan yung pinagkaibalan ni inner shadow doon kay drop shadow. Okay? The next, try naman natin si, ano, si outer glue. Okay? Oops. Tawa ko dito. Okay. Change ko lang yung text using type tool. Okay. Move ko lang dito. Then change ko lang yung kulay. Okay. So yung ginawa ko is gumamit lang ako ng dry eye drop. Okay. Automatically paglabas din doon sa ano sa PK. So merong eye drop. So unselect naman yung kulay na gusto niya. Then press niyo lang yung okay. Okay. Then just double click lang again. Okay. Sa so, uh, layer na gusto niyo yung apply ng layer style. Then we have outer glue. Okay. So ito naman si outer glue. Okay. Try naman natin si outer glue. Okay. So check to apply then select for the property of outer glue. Okay. So change ko yung kulay. Okay. Like for example, red. Okay. Then lagyan ko siya ng size. Oh, sorry. Hindi lang. Huwag lang red kasi hindi makikita. Okay. So blue. Okay. Change ko yung size. Okay. So, we have size. Okay. So, kung, ah, okay. Zoom in lang natin para makita natin. Okay. Double click. Okay. Check to apply for outer glue. Then, select for the properties. Okay. So, palitan ko yung kulay. Nandito yung kulay. Okay. So, into red. Ah, sorry. Hindi pala red. Into blue. Okay. Then, you can adjust the size. Ito yung size. Okay. So, titingnan natin is parang same din doon kay ano, kay kay drop shadow. Okay. Then we have also spread. Okay. So, kung gusto niyo sharp yung outer glue, di kaya kung gusto niyo something feather. Okay. Then we have noise. Okay. Then we have opacity. Okay. Yung pinagkaiba lang, yung major na difference niya, no? may outer glue doon kay drop shadow. Yung mad na kasi kayo, no? kay, kay outer glue. We have gradient. Kay drop shadow kanina, so wala tayong gradient doon. Okay? So like for example, instead na single color yung gagamitin ko, okay? click yung gradient. Okay? Then, we have gradient. So it means we have, we can mix the two colors. Okay? Gradually. Okay? Like that one. So we have presets naman dito. Okay? So you can use the... Uh, uh, kung saan gusto niyo yung ano yung presets we have three colors okay so we have uh, transparent colors then we have two colors okay then we can change naman dito yung kulay like yung orange gawin nating something blue okay then yung isa is okay do something red ah something green pwede din okay so zero ko lang si noise okay then yung size, okay, so adjust ko lang. Okay? So, kung titingnan natin, para siyang neon. Parang party colors. Yung kalab 
kalalabasan niya. So it means kung yung intended niyo na design is uh, for neon colors, so mas uh, ano, mas uh, mas uh, help helpful talaga yung ano, yung outer glow. Okay? So you can uh, adjust the technique, we have softer then we have precise. Okay? Gusto niyo something uh, precise yung quality ng ano ng outer glow. So you can change that one. Or gusto niyo medyo soft lang. So you can change naman yung technique. Okay? Okay, okay. so that one. Okay. Uh, so opacity. So adjust ko lang. Okay? Yan yung outer glow. Then si inner glow naman. Okay? So ako dito. Okay, so double click to apply the layer style doon sa layer na gusto niyo. Okay, then click lang yung inner glue. Okay, yung pinagkaiba, actually yung property niya is same lang doon kay outer glue. Pero yung pinagkaiba lang is si outer glue is nasa okay, loob siya ni ayan, ni shape or ni text. Okay, so yung effects niya is nasa Uh, uh, loob lang ng ano, ng objects. Okay? But for the property, same lang. Okay, so, meron din siyang contour, then meron din siyang chalk size, then meron din siyang opacity, at saka noise. Okay? Then, you can change naman yung color, then uh, meron din siyang ano, yung gradient na effects para kay inner glue. Okay? So, yan yung pinaka-major defense lang. Kasi yung effects niya is nasa inside lang. Doon sa shape or sa text na in-apply niya. Okay? Then you can use, then you can press the key. Okay? So, adjust na lahat. Oops. Okay, so, select ko muna lahat. Then, adjust ko muna. Okay? Then, next is, apply naman natin si Satan. Okay? Gawa ko ng text using type tool. Okay? Apply naman natin si Satan. Okay, double click. Okay, so uh, nakita na natin yung different interrupt shadow, ni inner shadow, ni outer glue, ni inner glue. So now, is try naman natin si satin. Okay, so click to apply satin. Then, okay, uh, select satin for the properties. Okay, so tingnan natin. Medyo, uh, konti lang yung, ano, yung property ni satin. Okay, so aside sa blend mode. So meron siyang kulay, pwede natin palitan yung kulay. Okay something blue. Actually, si satin is, ito yung pinaka-last na ginagamit doon sa lahat ng mga layer style. So, parang uncommon siya. Okay? Yung contour, balik ko lang into standard. Okay? But sometimes, helpful naman si, ano, si satin. Okay? So, we can like that, we can add that effects, like that one. Okay? So, we have distance, then we have size. Okay? Then, yung opacity, Okay. Yung, yan yung ano, yung effects ni satin. Okay. So parang naglalagay siya ng another color in the top sang in the top of our shape or of our uh, typography na ginagamit. Okay. Then next try naman natin si color overlay. Okay. Check ko si color overlay, then select ko yung property. Okay. Okay, si Color overlay is ay parang kagaya din ni, ni, ni ano ni Saten. So nagbibigay siya ng kulay doon sa ano sa uh, top ng image nat uh, ng shape natin o di kaya doon sa text natin. So sometimes kapag like for example yung text natin so naging raster na yan. Okay, or some or naging talaga naga, naging image na yan. So yung nangyayari is nawawala yung property ni ni text, okay? So, it means hindi ko na pwedeng palitan yung palita, palitan pa yung kulay ni text, okay? That one, okay? So, hindi na siya pwede. Yung isang way uh, para maging, ano, para mapalitan natin yung kulay, so, either gagamit tayo ng okay, ng satin, okay, like that one, check, then select, okay? Change ko lang into normal, okay? Then, yung contour standard ko lang, okay? Okay? 
Take at one. So, pwede ka yun palitan na, ano, na kulay. Okay. Or either, okay, pwede tayong gumamit ng color overlay. Okay. So, is, yan yung, ano, yung helpful sa nila. Okay. Kasi kahit raster, so, kaya nilang uh, palitan ng kulay. Okay. So, click to apply, then select for uh, the properties of color overlay. Okay. Like that one. Okay. So, I can change something yellow. Okay. Oops. Normal. Okay. Something yellow or something red. Okay. Although na, nawala na yung property ni text. Pero with the use of layer style. Okay. So, we can change naman yung kulay na gusto natin. Para dun sa uh, shape natin or text. Okay. Although nakaraster niya. Okay. Then, with the use of blend mode. Okay. Like overlay. Okay. So, mag yung ano. Yung effects yung nangyayari okay so by next webinar so isa-isahin ko naman ito yung ano itong mga blend mode okay okay yan yung oh, color overlay then ito si gradient overlay ito yung pinaka most na ginagamit okay so try natin okay like for example dito sa background ay okay, naginawa ko kanina apply ko dito yung gradient overlay so select ko muna yung ano yung background then double click lang ko dito Okay, nalabas na yung property ni layer style. Okay, then check to apply the gradient overlay. Then select for the properties. Okay. So dito, so click ko muna yung, ano, yung presets ni gradient. So we have gradient. Just click lang. Okay. So we have the print presets. Okay. Like that one. We have two colors. Okay. We have three colors kung gusto nyo. Then yung apply naman ng four colors. We can add naman colors dito. Just click lang dito. Just left click, okay? So, we can change the color. Just double click, okay? Like, for example, red, okay? So, we can adjust the slider, okay? Okay, yung mga distance nila, okay? Then, we can delete also the colors. Just select first, okay? Then, press ng delete, okay? Press ng delete, okay? Then, if you can... Then, kung okay na kayo doon sa, ano, sa, sa kulay na gusto nyo, then press okay lang. Then, we have style. Ito yung radial. Okay? So, pwede yan ha. So, just hold left click lang. Then, you can move naman dito. Okay? So, yan yung maganda sa mga bagong version ngayon. Okay? So, yung style from radial, so, pwede ko siyang gawing uh, linear. Ito yung linear na effects. Okay? Then, I can change the angle of linear effects. Okay? So, adjust lang yung angle. Nandito lang yung angle. Okay? Then, okay, I can adjust the blend. Okay? Yung transition ng blending ng dalawang kulay ko by changing the scale. Okay? That one, kung medyo malapit, ito yung nangyayari kung kapag naka 10% tayo sa scale. But kung naka 100 or something, 150, ito yung nangyayari. Okay? Then, you can move that one by holding left click. Okay? So, maganda yung background. Like, for example, gusto nyo medyo appealing yung background nyo doon sa ginagawa yung poster. You can use gradient overlay doon sa layer style. Okay? Ito yung linear. Then, we have also angle. Okay? So, ito yung angle. So, nag-based yan doon sa angle na na properties. Okay? Then, we have also reflected. Okay. Ito yung refle reflected na, ano, na effects. Then, we have also diamond. Okay. Let's do nyo something diamond yung effects. Then, yung scale, pwede naman babaan. Okay. Then, we have also opacity. Okay. So, ang gusto nyo medyo, uh, hindi na 100% yung, ano, yung kulay. So, yung unjust naman yung opacity. Okay. Then, we have reverse. Okay. So, uncheck lang. Or either check. Okay. So, mag-swap yung dalawang kulay. Okay. Then, we can also reset or make default. Okay. So, we have gradient. Yan yung effects na gradient. So, well, we are combining two colors gradually. Okay. Then, we have also pattern overlay. Okay. Try naman natin si pattern overlay. Okay. Dito sa background. Okay. Check ko yan to apply. Then, select for the property. Okay? Huwag kalimutan talaga mag-select mag dun sa property. 
Kasi baka yung inadjust adjust nyo instead kay pattern overlay, doon pala kay gradient overlay. Okay? So, medyo konti lang yung, ano, yung property ni pattern overlay. Okay? So, we have pattern. So, can change yung pattern na gusto natin. Okay? And scale that one. Okay? Then, we can apply also that one into text. Like, for example, meron akong text. Using uh, type tool. Okay. Okay. So, double click lang doon sa layer na, ano, na plan natin ng layer style. Okay. Double click. Then, nalabas yung uh, property ng layer style. Then, select si pattern overlay. Okay. So, change ko lang yung, ano, okay. Like, for example, this one. Okay. Pwede yan sa text. Okay. Then, sa internet is may mga free naman na, ano, na presets para sa pattern. So, you can also upload that one. Like, for example, okay. So, upload ko yung, ano, yung na-upload, na-download na ko na preset. So, click lang yung settings dito. Parang gear. Okay. Then, we have, okay, load patterns. So, select ko lang yung load patterns. Okay. Then, I have that one. So, I have a happy little Halloween na patterns na na-download doon sa internet. So, select ko lang, then load na. Okay? So, we have that one. So, meron na lumabas na different na additional pattern. Okay? I can use that one. I can use that one para sa aking design. I can use this one. Okay? So, uh, ano talaga yung ano? Useful talaga yung ano? Yung pattern overlay. So, I guess magagamit siya ito. Okay? Then next, we have Apa, we have two na lang. We have stroke at saka yung people in post. Okay, so unahin natin yung stroke. Okay. Yung stroke kapag gusto nyong maglagay ng outline dito sa labas ng shape or text. Okay, so you can check that one. Then select for the property. Okay, so yung size, you can adjust the size of stroke. Then for the position, either gusto nyo sa labas ng text or shape. Then, we have opacity. Okay, that one. Okay, that one. Then, we have also inside. Kung gusto nyo doon sa, lo sa loob. Okay. Then, we have also center. Okay. Yung overprint. Okay. So, pakita ko yung effects ng overprint. Okay. So, we zoom in up muna dito. Okay. Again, double click. Then, we have stroke. Okay. So, check siya. Okay. So, kapag na, yung position natin is nasa outside, okay, hindi natin makikita yung effects ni, ano, ni overprint. Okay. So, like for example, uh, check ko yung overprint, then adjust ko yung opacity. Okay. Then, totally, is, nakatransparent ako dito pa rin sa background. So, it means kapag nasa inside ako, okay, dyan yung makikita yung effects ni overprint. Okay. So, yung fill natin mula dito sa text kapag adjust ko yung ano yung opacity ng ano ng 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 properties ng stroke okay so makikita natin okay. so medyo nag transparent siya doon sa feel ng uh, text or ng shape natin yan yung ano yung effects ni overprint okay so it means kapag nasa center yan okay ito yung nangyayari okay just ko yung size that one Okay, kung zero, okay, tatali hindi na makikita. Okay. But if naka 50% ako, so yung fill ng ano, ng, ng text ko, so somehow is medyo na transparent siya. But if I uncheck that one, so totally, so kung center, so wala na, hindi na siya makikita. Okay, so it means kung gusto niyo makita, just check lang yung overprint. Okay. Then, pwede natin palitan yung kulay ng stroke natin. Okay that one. We can use purple or something blue. So, nandito lang. Nandito lang sa picker natin. So, you can change anytime naman yung kulay ng ano, ng stroke natin. Okay? So, press. Now, okay. Okay? Then, si stroke meron din plus. It means we can use multiple stroke. Okay? So, like for example, click ko yan. Okay? Then, yung isa, adjust ko yung position into outside. Uh, and then yung isa is gawin ko siyang red. 
Okay? So, kung titignan natin, so we can use multiple struct. Okay? Then next, so we have Bibelanim Post. Okay? Try naman natin si Bibelanim Post. Ito mostly ginagamit ito. Okay? So, double click. Okay? So, we have Bibelanim Post. Click, uh, check to apply, then select for the properties. Okay, so we have style, so we have inner bevel. Ito yung effect ni inner inner bevel. So add lang ako ng dip. And at the same time yung size. Okay. So kung gusto nyo maging 3D yung ano nyo, yung text nyo, you can use bevel and impost. Okay. Then we have outer. Ito yung outer. Okay, so salba siya ng text. Then we have embossed, okay? So it means uh, inside at saka outside ng shape natin or ng text natin yung effects, okay? Then we have pillow na effects, okay? Then yung pillow, okay? Then we have stroke, okay? So it means dapat meron kayong stroke din na effects para, okay, para mag-effect yung ano, yung stroke na impost na effect ni Bebelan impost. Okay. So, check ko lang. Then, we have technique. Okay. So, gamit ako ng inner Bebel. Adjust ko lang yung size. Okay. So, we have technique. Ito yung smooth. Pero kung gusto nyo medyo naka-ano siya, naka-sharp siya. So, you can use naman chisel hard. So, we have smooth, chisel hard, and then we have chisel smooth. Okay. So, ito yung chisel soap. Okay. So, kung gusto nyo adjust yung, ano, yung, yung deep, isa nandito lang. Then, for the direction, we have up, at saka yung isa is down. Okay. So, nagbe-based yung direction dito sa highlight mode natin. Okay. At saka doon sa shadow mode natin. Okay. So, up. Okay. Then, we can change the angle. Okay. Of highlight at saka ng shadow mode natin. Okay. Like that one. Okay. Then at the same time, we have also altitude. Okay. So, the, the distance sang ginagawa natin yung people and inbox. Okay. Then we have also contour or forms. Okay. So, like that one. We can change that one. Okay. So, like gusto nyo ganitong forms. So, pwede din ang forms pwede din. Okay. So, depende sa gusto nyo yung design. Okay. Then, we have highlight mode. Okay. So, gusto nyo palitan yung parang highlight niya. So, pwede din. So, gawin yung red. Okay. Then, we have opacity. So, gawin ko lang 100%. Then, yung blend mode. So, normal lang muna. Okay. Then, yung shadow mode. So, pwede din yan palitan. Instead of black. So, pwede ko siyang gawin. Blue. Okay. Then, yung opacity, so pwede ko din na-chest. Okay. Then, we have, change ko lang into normal. Okay. So, ang gusto kong uh, adjust yung highlight aka, at saka yung shadow mode. Again, so dito lang kayo eh. Okay. Sa kaya ang god or sa kaya altitude. Okay. So, pwede yan. Pwede yan. Well, pwede yan. Okay. Then, we can also apply contour. Okay. Click ko, then select for the property. Okay. So, same din doon kanina. So, sa pinapakita ako. Okay. Then, we have also texture. Okay. So, texture. Ang gusto nyo nagyan ng texture. Okay. Check. Then, select. Okay. So, we have that one. Like a pattern. Okay. So, kung ano yung mga preset natin para kay pattern. So, same din doon sa texture. So, pwede natin upload yung ano, yung, or something load natin yung, meron tayong na-download ng mga presets doon kay texture or kay pattern. Okay? Yan din, ah, yan si ano, si Bebelan in Post. So, kung titignan natin, yung effects niya is para siyang naka 3D. Okay? So, this time, so, okay, delete ko muna lahat. Gagawan tayo ng, ano, ng isang magandang examples. So, gagamitin natin, apply natin yung ano, yung lahat ng mga layers tayo. Okay. So, delete ko. Oops. Okay. So, delete ko yung, ayaw ko ng artboard. Okay. Uncut ko lang yung artboard. Okay. Then, delete ko yung effects. Just hold the click lang. Delete ko dito. Okay. 
So, gawin ko lang white. Okay. Sige. So, magsasample tayo. Okay. So, gagamit ako ng ano, ng shape na ellipse. Okay. So, hold shift click. Oh, it means gagawa ko ng proportion na ano, na ellipse. Okay. And then, nandito na siya. Oops, sorry. Hold shift click. Ah, ito pa. So, kumuha siya ng panibagong layer. Okay. Then, yung gagawin ko is double click ako dito. Mag-apply ako ng layer style. Okay. Then, apply ko si gradient overlay. So, click ko muna. Then, select. Okay. Then, change ko yung preset ni gradient overlay. Okay. Then, click ko yung two colors. So, I will use two colors. Okay. Then, change ko yung kulay. Okay. From light. Okay, so double click. Okay, so we have a hex number dito. So, okay, so gagawin ko is copy ko lang yung hex. Press ko eh. Okay, para hindi na, hindi na ako masyadong mahihirapan sa pagpili ng kulay. Okay, then paste ko dito. Then yung gagawin ko, babaan ko lang yung, okay, yung brightness. Instead na 100, gagawin ko siyang. Oops, sorry. Something. Okay, so something pointy. Okay, then press ko lang Okay. Okay na ako dito sa ano sa property niya. Press ko lang okay. Okay. Then yung gagawin ko is adjust ko yung angle. Okay. So into 0 degrees. Oops, sorry. Ito na yung effects. Okay. Then next. Okay. Gagawa ako ng panibagong shape. Okay. Oops, sorry. Gamit ako ng ellipse. Gawa ko ng panibagong shape. One. Then yung gagawin ko, so instead na pipili ako ng layer style dito. So copy ko na lang yung ginawa ko previous na layer style. So pwede tayong select mo na yung ano, yung ellipse one na layer. Then right click. Then copy layer style. Then dito sa ellipse two, saan ko siya apply. Then just right click. Then paste layer style. Okay, so pwede yan. So pwede makapipaste yung layer style. Or either, yung pinakamadali, so hold lang yung Alt key. Okay, then hold left click doon sa effects na gusto na kapihin nyo. Then uh, select lang papunta doon sa intent nyo. Okay? Like that. Then next, align ko dyan. Okay? Then double click ako dito. Adjust ko lang yung ano, yung layer style dito. Okay? So, so, select ko muna yung gradient overlay. Then, reverse ko lang yung layer. Okay? That one. Then, apply ako ng isa pang layer style. So, we can use multiple, ah, na layer style. So, add ako ng, okay. So, try ko yung, yung inner shadow. Okay? Then, dito sa inner shadow, so, adjust ko yung chalk. Yung size. Okay? It reality. Okay. Then yung opacity, we can adjust naman yung opacity. Okay. So we can adjust the size like that one. Yan. Okay. So parang ano na siya. Okay. Then press ko lang. Okay. So, okay. so kung titingnan natin, parang meron siyang butas doon sa ano, sa loob ng ginawa ko kaninang circle. Okay. Then dito sa unang ellipse, sa unang ellipse. Okay. So maglalagay ako ng drop shadow. Okay. Okay, click yan. Yan, okay. Adjust ko yung drop shadow. Okay, by holding left click lang dito, yung distance. Change ko yung kulay into black. Okay. Press ko lang okay. Then yung spread. Then yung size. Then adjust ko lang yung ano, yung, yung opacity. Okay, so. Take that one. Kasi medyo transparent yung kanina. Okay, ayaw ko nang medyo transparent. Gusto ko yung nakikita yung drop shadow. Okay, like that one. Press ko lang okay. Then, mag-apply ako dito ng panibagong shape. Okay, so I will use another applications. Okay, so this is uh, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so oh, when it comes to shape, mas maganda si Illustrator. Okay, so bilisan na natin. Okay, then Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Okay, that one. Okay. 
So, may mga tools kasi si Illustrator na wala din si Photoshop. Okay. So, align ko lang center. Okay. Then, select all. So, kagamit ako ng ship builder. So, si ship builder wala, wala, wala kaya, no? Wala kaya kay Photoshop. Okay. So, dito mo lang makikita. Kaya do kay Illustrator. I hold alt ako. So, mukutasan ko yan. Okay. Sir. Again, select all. Okay. Then, next, gamit ako ng another shape. Sorry. Gamit ako ng round. Rectangle. Okay. Okay. Back. So, gagawa tayo ng power button. Okay. Then, select all ko na lang dito. Okay. Adjust ko muna. Okay, this one. Gamit ako ng direct selection tool. Just ko lang. Okay. Ctrl C. Okay. From Adobe Illustrator. Eh. Then, paste ko lang dito kay Photoshop. Okay. So, when, when it comes to effects, di kaya ni Illustrator. Eh. So, yung makagawa naman si Adobe Photoshop. So, Ctrl V to paste. Okay. So, gawin ko siyang shape layer. Then, press ko lang okay. Okay. This one. Then, adjust ko lang yung top-top. Oops, sorry. Hold shift. Okay. Okay. Then, adjust ko lang yung kulay. Okay. Then, apply ako ng layer style. Okay. Then, gamit lang ako ng inner shadow. Okay. That one. So, select yung properties. Oh. Zoom in muna ako. Okay. Para makita natin yung text. Okay. Double click. Then, we have inner shadow. Okay. Select lang yung style. Okay. Then, pwede akong gumamit ng contour. Okay. So, gusto ko yung hanap ako ng mga gandang forms. Okay. Okay, that one. Then, yung opacity. Okay. So, I guess yung shadow. Oops, sorry. Okay. Then, adjust ko lang yung kulay. That one. Then, adjust ko lang yung size. That one. Then, yung chalk, adjust ko lang. Then, yung direction. Okay. So, dapat, uh, ano, sanay na yung, ano, medyo patient lang. Okay. Oops. That one. Then, yung size, adjust ko lang. Okay. Press ko lang. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, titingnan natin. Okay, from plane, hide ko muna yung mga effects natin. Oops, sorry. Okay. So, from plane, kanina, gumamit tayo ng uh, gradient. Okay. Ito na yung, ano, yung effects. Oops. Wait. Okay. Then, gumawa, gumawa tayo ng another ellipse. Then, lagyan natin ng panibagong effects. One. Then, gumamit tayo ng ano, gumamit tayo ng panibagong objects, then gumamit tayo ng layer style. So, ito na yung effects. Okay. So, kung titingnan natin, so, we can make a reality or something appealing na, ano, na icon, na logo, with the use or with the help of layer style. Okay? So, isang isa, uh, ano pa. So, sige. So, try natin another example. Okay. So, one, icon, So, this time, okay, gamit naman ako ng, again, ellipse pa rin. Okay, like that one. Okay, then, next, group, group mo muna. Okay, baka masira yung ano. So, select ko yung previous, then control G to group. Okay. So, we have, change ko lang yung name. We have, power button. So, try naman natin another example. Okay. So, I guess doon naman tayo sa text. Wag na yung shape. Okay. So, gagawa tayo ng pinakakoma naman na ano. Bibilisan na natin. Oops. Okay. So, 
nagawa tayo ng parang ano naman, parang gold effects naman gamit yung layer style. Okay. So, okay, for example, meron kayong logo. Okay. And change ko lang yung kulay into black lang muna para makita ko. Okay. So, lagyan natin siya ng background. Okay. So, gamit ako ng rectangle. Ay, meron na pala. Okay. Ito. So, lagyan ko na lang ng effects. Okay. Just double click lang that. <clears throat> gamit ako ng gradient overlay. Okay. Change ko lang yung kulay into something gray. And then, this one into something orange. Okay, so, let's show you. Okay. Then, press ko lang okay. Then, next, yung style. Change ko lang into regional. Okay. So, gusto ko yung regional. Then, gusto ko yung, ano, um, baliktad. Okay. So, click ko lang yung reverse. Okay. Then, yung scale. Okay. 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 So, okay na ako dyan. Okay. Then, dito naman ako yung logo. Okay. So, double click to apply the layer style. So, lagyan siya natin ng effects. Oops. Cancel muna. Change ko muna yung okay. Yung fonts from Helvetica. So, change ko lang into time new rooms. Hala. Okay. So, yung bold. Okay. Try natin yung bold. Kasi maganda yung effects ng layer style kapag naka-bold. Okay, then double click. Apply ako ng gradient overlay. Okay, change ko yung kulay. Okay, so I guess I will use 4. Oops, sorry. Yung style is, balik ko lang kay linear. Then, change ko yung angle into 90 degrees. Oops, sorry. Double click lang. Okay. Then, I will use uh, 4 colors. Okay, so... Something orange. Okay, this one. Then I will add another color. Just left click on dito. I will use white. Okay, then another color. Okay. So, copy ko lang yung previous na color. Okay, so copy ko lang yung hex. Then paste ko dito. Then, One, press ko lang muna. Okay. Then, change ko yung blend mode. Okay. From normal into highlight. Okay. Again, papalitan ko ng kulay. So, gusto ko yung medyo orange. Ayan. Okay. So, patience. Oops, sorry. Okay. Copy ko lang yan natin. Okay. 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 Just lang okay. Dito. Adjust ko lang yung kulay. Dapat talaga patience ka dito. Ah. <laughs> Sorry. Then dito, medyo dark lang. Oh, saan ba yung red? Paste nyo nga lahat. Then, okay, okay. Yan, medyo hit sya. Dito. Okay, dapat. Okay, then, adjust ko yung slider. Okay. Okay. Oops. Parang shirt. Ayaw ko na yung shirt. Okay. Adjust ko yung scale. Okay. It's... Okay. Tap tap. Oops. Sorry. Then next. Okay. After ni gradient overlay. So, try ko naman gumamit ng ano. Ng... Okay. Color overlay. Okay. Check. Then, select to apply. Okay. Change ko lang yung kulay. Okay. So, try to F is. 
then you have 760 okay then yung blend mode ah uh, change ko lang to multiply okay one and press ko lang okay okay the next try naman natin yung bibili ng inbox okay so reset ko lang dito okay then inner bibili okay na ako dun then technique so change ko lang into chisel hard then yung deep is okay naka 100 okay na ako dyan then yung size okay, adjust ko lang into 5 then yung soft then 0 okay then yung angle okay change ko lang into 120 see then yung ay okay, yung altitude change ko lang into 30 okay then yung highlights I change ko lang that one. And then, change ko lang yung blend mode into hard light. Okay. Then, yung opacity, is, gawin ko siyang 100. Okay. Para hindi siya transparent. Then, dito sa multiply, ah, dito sa shadow pala. Okay. So, medyo dark lang yung ano niya. Okay. So, oh, adjust ko lang yung kulay ko. Okay, then we have change ko lang into multiply. Okay, yung blend mode. Then yung opacity. Okay, so gawin ko lang 20. Okay. Then after ni ano, ni Bibela ni Mbox. Okay, so try naman natin. Maglagay ng inner shadow. Okay. So, reset ko lang muna. Okay, so yung kulay, change ko lang into white. Then, yung blend mode, change ko lang into screen. Okay. Then, yung angle, okay na ako dyan. Then, yung distance, okay. Zero ko lang. Then, yung size, okay. So, gawin ko, gawin ko lang. Okay. Okay. Then, yung opacity. Adjust ko yung opacity. So, para makita yung ano. Uh, in a shadow natin. So, gawin ko lang into 75. Okay. Then, next is, okay, so we can use stroke naman. Okay. So, click yung stroke. Then, select. Okay. Then, reset ko muna. Okay. So, yung size, okay, I guess, okay na ako dito sa 4. Then, yung position, okay. So, I will just inside yung blend mode. Okay na ako dyan. Okay, yung opacity, okay na ako dyan. Yung kulay na lang. Okay. Oops. Ayaw ko nagsak. Okay. So, something, yan, naka-gold siya. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, pwede natin, again, that one. Then, ano pa? So, okay. So, we can use drop shadow. Okay. For drop shadow, naka-black. Change ko lang kulay for black. Yung opacity, babaan ko lang. Okay. Adjust ko lang dito. Okay. Make it one. Okay, para makikin. Okay. Yung ano lang, yung importante lang is para mag-stanot yung ano natin. Okay, yung opacity adjust ko lang. Okay. Uy. <laughs> Ay, yung spread. Yung size. Okay, that one. Then, you can use outer glue. Okay, so reset ko lang muna. Ay, sorry. Outer glue. Okay. Uh, check mo na yung outer glue. Okay. So, again, drop shadow. That one. Then, outer glue. Then, select. Okay. Dito ako. Okay. Just ko lang yan. So, lagyan natin parang shiny. Okay. That one. Then, yung spread. Okay. Oops. 
zero lang. Wala lang noise, yung opacity. Okay. So, lagyan natin ng glow effects. Okay. So, you can adjust the range. Okay. Okay. So, press ko lang okay. Okay. So, with the use of layer style, so, ito yung pinakamaganda. So, kung titingnan natin, makagawa tayo ganitong effects. So, again, review lang natin. So, from this plane, uh, from black lang, so, gumamit tayo ng ano, ng gradient overlay muna. Okay. So, pumili tayo ng kulay na parang uh, parang uh, same doon sa ano, sa gold na, na malapit sa gold na ano na, na kulay. So we got orange at saka yung yellow at saka yung red. Then apply tayo ng color overlay. Okay. So para lagyan ng additional na ano na na para yung kulay magiging mag, mag magiging glow siya. Okay. So nag-add siya ng ano ng ng something gold na na effects din. Then, nag-apply tayo ng Vivella Nim Post. Okay? So, para magiging 3D siya. So, nag-add tayo ng forms. Okay? Then, nag-apply tayo ng stroke. Okay? So, para kapag titingnan, so, most likely is parang shining siya. Parang kagaya ng gold. Okay? Then, same din doon sa, ano, sa outer glue. Okay? Nag-add tayo ng outer glue. Then, we have also inner shadow. Okay. So aside doon sa stroke. So binigyan buhay ni ano ni inner shadow yung ano yung text natin. Then lastly, so gumamit tayo ng drop shadow para kapag titingnan, so parang nag-stand out yung ano natin. Yung text natin. Okay? So yan lang. So I guess um uh, essential talaga na ano na matutunan natin yung ano yung layer style. Then, ano naman, uh, hindi naman siya mahirap matutunan. As long lang meron kayong patience sa pag, ano, sa pag, 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 pag-delay nito. Okay? Then, I guess, you have to, to practice talaga. So, matutunan na natin yung, ano, yung Adobe Photoshop kapag uh, in-apply natin or something pinapractice natin yung, ano, yung lahat ng mga tools na nandito. Okay? So, I guess that's all for my, ano, for my webinar. All right, thank you so much, Sir Ian, for that very informative topic. For the information of everybody, we have some participants here all the way from Qatar, Rizal Technological University of Makati, and Laguna. And also, thank you for joining us today. And we have to extend, we would like to extend our warm gratitude to the PIO of the Lisay and Councilor Derek Palanca of Victoria City for supporting today's webinars. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much, ma'am and sirs. Now is the time that we entertain questions posted through our open forum link. Sir Ian, are you ready? Yes, Miss Max. All right, Sir Ian. So we have here the first question. Is there a free course for visual graphic design now in Nolitsi? If yes, how to avail? Okay, so uh, actually in this situation, in this pandemic, so uh, wala pa tayong ano, yung online training talaga na ano. Na, na para doon sa visual graphic design. And, uh, same din doon sa ano sa face to face na ano na, na yes. training para doon sa sa graphic design. Pero meron naman tayong webinars. So ano lang yes. so uh, kindly ano lang talaga. Kindly ano lang yung mga webinars namin. Yes, that is why we are harnessing the power of technology or the social media right now to do webinars um, in animation and also in visual graphic design because um, that's what Sir Ian said. Um, due to pandemic, we have canceled all our um, um, VGD course for now, for the meantime. Okay, so now just um, stay with us in tune on our webinars. And that's it. And for the question number two, Sir, what is the importance of graphic design 
in education. Okay, so uh, I mean, uh, I guess yung uh, yung mini ano ni Mom sa question nito, kung paano mm-hmm. kagamitin yung ano yung graphic design doon sa pagtuturo. Okay, so most likely kung bata yung ano yung tinuturoan niyo, so uh, magagamit niyo talaga yung ano yung design. So magiging interactive yung materials na ginagamit niyo, maging makulay. So hindi siya magiging plain or something void. Okay? So mm-hmm. you can give ano ah interact uh, something interactive doon sa mga materials na ginagamit. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, That's all. <laughs> so it means ano na ano nang so it means kapag interactive so it uh, So it means yung bata interesado. Magiging interesado doon sa mga lessons. Yes. Yan yung ano, yung importance ng graphic design. Importance ng graphic design. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. And we have here question number three. Why is layer in Photoshop important? Okay. So actually most uh, most likely kasi ano eh, yung doon tayo nag 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 ano eh, nag, nag play or something crucial talaga yung ano yung layers. Kapag uh, ano kapag mag-apply tayo ng effects like adjustment or something uh, layer style. So uh, dapat first matutunan mo talaga yung ano yung yung paano gumamit ng ano ng layers. Okay. So hindi ka masyado familiar doon sa ano sa layers. So uh, most likely kapag gumagamit ka ng Photoshop is uh, parang uh, Uh, parang nawawala ka. Parang hindi mo alam kung ano yung next mm-hmm. mo natagawin. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. So, layers also helps improve the designs, right? Ng mga graphic artists. Okay, uh, so... Yes, Miss uh, Next. Uh, thank you, sir. And we have here question number four. What is the difference between Adobe Photoshop and Canva? Why okay. we should use Adobe compare to any new graphic software. Okay, so actually yung Canva maganda naman, especially it's a free na ano na na tool, na online tool doon sa ano sa mm-hmm. sa internet. Pero kung yung design mo is a uh, major design talaga, yung gusto mo yung high quality. So uh, mas maganda si ano si Adobe Photoshop. Especially sa mga tools, sa mga effects So most likely makikita niyo talaga kay ano kay Adobe Photoshop. I mean wala siyang ano limitations mm-hmm. compared doon kay Canva. Yes, I agree sir. All right. So let's move on also to question number five. Um in Adobe Photoshop, what is a smart object? Okay, so I guess nung last na ano na, na webinar ko doon sa introduction to basic na ano na na uh, to basic Photoshop CC. So na natakol ko na 'yan. So uh, again, so smart object if if gusto mo na no na non-destructive non-destructive yung ano yung layer niyo. So uh, I sad I I really suggest na gawin yung ano yung layer to smart object. Especially doon sa ano sa resizing din sa paglalagay ng effects. So mas ano mas Uh, mas, uh, adva- uh, mas, mas advantage kung naka-smart objects. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank you so much, sir. And for question number six, is there a command for blinking effect? From okay, so, yes. Okay, so kung no lang, kung something uh, same doon sa pinaka- pinakita ko kanina na parang gold na effects or something glow lang na, na plain, So kaya ni ano yan ni Photoshop. Pero kung yung something naka-blink na uh, merong animation, I guess uh, gagamit tayo ng ano ng ibang graphic application like uh, Adobe After Effects o di kaya uh, Adobe Premiere. Yan. Pero kung plain lang, kaya niyan ni Adobe Photoshop. Yung parang blink, uh, parang blink yung ano, yung effect niya. Mhm. So is um there is no command sir for blinking effect sa Photoshop. Ay, sa ano sa, sa command. So dito kasi uh-huh. sa kaya ano sa kaya Adobe Photoshop. It's parang mm-hmm. manumano talaga. Mm-hmm. So wala dito na kapag click mo siya automatically is naka naka blink na, na ano na, na, na naka blink na yung yung text mo or yung button mo. 
unless kung meron kang ano yung preset na na-download mm-hmm. na upload mo lang dito sa ano sa Adobe Photoshop. Ah, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. And down for our seventh question. How do we get a certificate? So do you have any idea? <laughs> if not, I will, I will be the one to answer them. Is it okay yes. for you, sir? Yes, Mr. I will be the one. Okay. <laughs> Guys, for the information of everybody, to avail your digital certificate. Anyways, this is a good question now. So to avail your digital certificate, you have to successfully fill out both of the for- forms that we have given to you. First is the attendance form, and second is the evaluation form. If you only filled out one of the forms, like for example, you have filled out only the evaluation form but you did not fill out the attendance form we are very sorry but um we are not going to um get you or send you your digital certificates that is why we are insisting or we are um, emphasizing a while ago that you have to fill out both of the attendance and the evaluation form i hope it is clear and okay sir ian let's move on to the Okay. Um, I think we don't have any questions um, left. That is for the last question, Sir Ian. And thank you so much. Okay, we have um, last question. Sir, sorry, we have a last question. Okay. Question so, number eight. No, okay. Does having many layers in an image consume a lot of computer memory? Yes. Okay. So, kung uh, maaaring ma-minimize natin yung paggamit ng layers, so mas mabuti. Pero mm-hmm. kung ano talaga, walang options. So, ganyan. So, expect ka lang na malaki yung ano. Kung maraming layers yung ginamit mo. So, expect mm-hmm. ka lang na malaki yung file size ng ng design na ginagawa mo. Mm-hmm. So, it means yung ano mo, yung yung computer memory mo. So, medyo magpa-process niya. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you for that, Sir Ian. So we um, we have question number nine. Why does layers is called heart and soul of Photoshop? Okay. So based sa experience ko, kasi mostly ano eh, nang kapag kapag nagdi-design kami or something nagiedit kami, yung mm-hmm. pinaka crucial talaga yung layers. So hindi kami makap makapag-start ng isang design kung walang layers kung di mm-hmm. kung di kami marunong gumamit ng layers mm-hmm. yan na tinawag siya ano parang heart and soul of photoshop heart and soul. yes that is why um, the basic of photoshop is learning the layers or the layer style right sir yes um, okay so that um, we have also question number 10 what is the difference between adobe and after effects Okay, so uh, I guess uh, between uh, Photoshop and After Effects, yan yung ano yung tanong. Okay, so yung Photoshop is maganda siya sa ano sa sa plane ng mga designs, like mm-hmm. uh, kasi wala siyang wala siyang masyadong animations. Pero yung kapag yung uh, yung design na gusto mo is something like uh, may animations or merong ano merong like uh, some, something may motions mm-hmm. yeah mas maganda si ano si After Effects kasi okay, yung okay. lahat ng ano ng mga Adobe na mga applications may mga different ano yan eh may mga different specialty yan so si Photoshop iba yung specialty niya then si mm-hmm. After Effects so iba yung ano ya yung specialty uh, so, so may okay. different talaga ng dalawa sir ah uh, complain ng mga design so yan kung good for raster Photoshop. Mm-hmm. Pero kung with uh, motion or something animation, then especially yung magagandang yung mga effects. So, mm-hmm. use that effects. Okay. <laughs> All right, Sir Ian. I think that is for our last question today. Again, thank you, Sir Ian. I bet many of us here are excited to face our computers later and do some photo editing. Thank you, Sir Ian. All right. Thank you, Megs. Before we cut this afternoon's webinar, I hope you have filled out the attendance already. And to get your digital certificate, again, you need to accomplish the evaluation form through the link provided in the description box, or you may scan your QR code in the screen right now.
do it right now. And please type in your name correctly as we will no longer cater change of certificates due to wrong spelling of names. Also, be careful with the spelling of your email address so it won't bounce back. The evaluation site will be opened only for two hours or until six in the evening. That concludes our Visual Graphic Webinar 3, Layer Style in Adobe Photoshop. Please join us again on the 20th of April for the webinar on Internet Essentials for Women. This is in partnership with the Department of Information and Communication Technology, or DICT. Please register through the link pinned on the comment section or scan the QR code being flashed on your screen right now. You may also check the flyer on our page and please don't forget to share it with your family, friends, and colleagues who might be interested in um, joining this webinar. All right, so that's all for today. We hope you had fun learning with us. Stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. Knowledge inspire. Knowledge cares. Avance, migrense. Bye, everyone.